Hi guys, welcome to Adam McCollar TV. This is the preview of Manchester United's away trip at Aston Villa. It's on Friday and comes up after Manchester United obviously beat Tottenham Hotspur in the opening day of the season with an own goal through Kyle Walker. I remember walking into the ground and I said to my brother, if it comes off Rooney's backside and we win 1-0, I'm happy with that. So I was happy with the three points. The performance wasn't too much to be desired and we need to improve if we want to go on a run. Um, but it was job well done. Sergio Romero kept a clean sheet as well, made a few fantastic saves towards the end of the game to keep us in it and to keep us 1-0 in front. So well done to him. Um, will we see the return of David De Gea though? A lot of rumours have been coming in around the last few days saying Real Madrid had all but given up on signing David De Gea this summer um, and that he would remain at Manchester United for at least a season. He's been included in Manchester United's Champions League squad so, it's either mind games or he is actually staying for another year, similar to Ronaldo and what he did for Manchester United. So, will David De Gea return in goal? For me, if he's staying, we start him. I've said this all along and I said it during pre-season. If David De Gea is staying, start him. I think what Louis van Gaal did was right in terms of pulling him out of the firing line um, with his future in doubt. But if it's decided now, he's ready. Play him. I have no doubt about his professionalism and the way he will perform for Manchester United. And it'd be great to see him back in goal because regardless of how well Romero played against Spurs at the weekend, his distribution wasn't the best. Um, and I don't think he's any more than a backup for Manchester United. Moving on from that, I'm interested to see how we line up through the middle of the park. Now, I've been saying it for ages, play Herrera, play Herrera. And I felt it was a little slow um, through the f moving up the pitch. Uh, against Spurs. We didn't move it up quick enough. Carrick and Schneidlin, they, they played well. Schneidlin in particular played very well. Um, but we didn't get the ball into the final third quick enough. Memphis Depay looked like he wanted to he wanted to impress. He wants to impress so much. And he showed glimpses of being a top player in, in preseason and against Spurs. But again, he wasn't brought into the game enough for me. Um, I, if I was Lou Van Gaal, I'd consider swapping Memphis and Mata. Mata's obviously... A fantastic player. He was one of our man of the matches against Spurs. Some people gave it to him, although I gave it to who did I give it to? Uh, Darmian or um, Chris Smalling. But Mata played very well. He was influential in that game. Bring him into the middle of the park. That's where he loves it most. I don't think he's a natural winger. I think he's he's not quick enough to be on the on the on the wing for me, um, and he slows it down a little bit at times. But He's one of our most influential players in terms of playing and creating um, and scoring goals. And I'd like to see him brought into the middle just to see what we can do. And I believe he's got the awareness and the control and the passing ability to bring Memphis and Ashley Young, whoever's out on the other wing, into the game um, a lot more than they would be if they were in the centre and it's them who have got to try and bring their wide players into the game. So I'd be interested to see that one. Will, will Louis van Gaal do it? Personally, I don't think so. I think he'll stick with Memphis up top, which... Fair dues, I do believe Memphis Depay has what it takes to be a striker or a number 10 for Manchester United. Pace, strength, skill, he can score goals from inside, outside the box. So he can do it, um, and I've seen him showing signs of his awareness coming along. He's, he's looking out for his opponents, his, play, his, his teammates at all times. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he blossoms in that role. But I would maybe just try it out a little bit, put matter in the middle put Memphis out wide, we'll start that way, but yeah, that's my thoughts, what would my 11 be, David De Gea in goal, Damian, Smalling, Rojo if he's back and he's fit, if not Daily Blind, and then at left back Luke Shaw, then I'd go, I can't see Schweinsteiger starting, um, so I'd go Carrick, Schneiderlin, um, I can't see Herrera starting either, even though I'd want him to, and then I'd go my three just off Rooney would be Young, Memphis and Mata, with Rooney up top. I do believe we can get all three points. Villa obviously beat Bournemouth in their opening day fixture of the season. Rudy Gested, their super sub, got the goal for them. Um, so although they've lost Ben Teke, if Gested starts, he will provide an aerial threat that we need to be aware of and we need to close it down very, very quickly. Um, so Phil Jones, Marcus Rojo, Smalling, whoever starts, they will have a big job on their hands if they're up against Rudy Gested. Um, he's got great aerial ability. Then obviously you've got the other... AU they've signed, um, they've got Scott Sinclair, Gile, I think you pronounce his name, 
Grelish as well. So they've got a few top, like, tricky players in attacking areas, and we will need to keep an eye out on them. It's their first home game of the season, so their fans will be up for it. We need to get all three points, so and we'll keep our winning, winning run going. So, guys, let me know what you think about the game at the weekend. Do you agree with my 11 or not? What's your score prediction? I'm going to go for 2-0 Manchester United. I think it'll be a little bit more comfortable than the game at against Spurs, but I do think we'll get three points. So, guys, comment below. Subscribe to Adam Matt Collar TV. Check out Full Time Devils as well. Like the video. I'm out of there.